for a time TVGH. Na so we are. Me a subscribe button ne so. Ne me a doman ne so. Maya di bibi a tumwa. E bebo on kaye. A Jenny album lunch. This is the man of the night. As you can see. Taubu the superstar. What's up? Oh Charlie. As you can see. I'm, I'm very very happy. Yeah. Like my expectation and everything has been met. And, and I'm very 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 Okay, like I'm, I'm very happy, you know. Yeah. Before uh, the Jenny album launch, what came in mind? Well, actually, uh, I'm somebody who likes to do things according to my day-to-day -day activities. So, like, when I always want, when I always see people do things, I, I try to contradict it with my, my other life. You understand? So, the day-to-day -day activities and everything that I see. That's what really inspired me to do this journey album. Yeah. You are in Swedo. You are not in Accra. Most people say that the artists in Accra are being exposed than those in other um, regions. You see, uh, Patapa did a song one corner, and it was all over the world. Swedo, we do our own thing. Like we do our own music. We have our own fashion line. We have our own so many things that we do here. So anything that from here that goes outside Swedro becomes an instant hit. Like, somebody wouldn't understand why an upcoming artist like me wouldn't even try to release a single, but then we'll go ahead and release an album. It is something that I want to do. I want to leave a legacy for the people here to also start doing some. Because we've always been releasing singles, and it goes out to the bloggers, and then they chop the money free. So I thought about the business aspect, and then I thought about doing something for myself and then for the fans too. So I, I sat down and decided that I need to do songs and then put it on a CD and then let the whole world know. Because right now, we just sold some CDs here. You go to Accra, you go to Accra, there are so many lunches that they do that you wouldn't even see Tenkubo on the paper. But I sold my album here, somebody dashed out 2K. Other people dashed so many, somebody even bought 50 copies. Yeah. So it goes down to tell you how powerful the music industry in Sweden is actually growing. It is not only me, there are so many people here that are doing a very good work. Like Buddha, Sai Zero. All right, so powerful. So Tabu, how do you see doing music in Sweden here? Comparing it to those inside Accra and other regions. Well, I think if God want to bless you, he doesn't think about where you are. You see, because right now we have social media, a very powerful tool. So if I do music today and I put it on audio mark or iTunes, somebody in South Africa will have the opportunity to listen. Yeah. So it is up to me to brand myself, put on a lot of hard work, and then the encouragement that my people are giving to me and the support and all the prayers, I need to get them together and then make sure that I, I do something for myself and for the people. You understand? So it's not actually about where you stay or where you live because there are so many rappers in Accra, almost billions. We don't even hear them. Okay? Because if I'm able to amass almost about 200 people to this auditorium and then I'll be able to get about 1,000 people for the show, it tells you how big the fan base is. Okay, so it's not about where you are, it's about what you do. So what should we expect after this? I mean, I don't tell people to expect anything from me because God, man, man proposes and God disposes. Your fans might be expecting more. And all I want to tell them is that I'm somebody who don't sleep. That is why I sold my bed 10 years ago. I don't sleep on a bed. I almost okay. You sold your bed? I sold my bed. Why? So I don't sleep on a bed because it's not necessary. I you sleep on the floor? No, I don't even sleep. I stand. How? Yeah, if I want to sleep, I stand for 30 minutes. I close my eyes, I open, I go back to work. Seriously. Seriously. Ask anybody. Aside music, the what do you do? I slept two hours was 2002. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Aside music, what do you do? Actually, I started, um, I started acting. Like, I'm an, I'm an artist. I draw. Okay. Yeah, while I was in school, I started doing drawing, JCS and graffiti. Even I'm at former school, I have a drawing there that has my inscription behind it. But I realized that God has given me so many talent. So it's not only about doing the music, but it's about exploring the talent that is within you, the God-given 
act that is being hidden within me. This is what I want to tell Okay, you. Tabu, yeah. would you one day move from Suedo? Suedo, even if I go to America, I'll still come back because my people need me. And then the kind is there of... there something special here? Suedro is Suedro. Bro, even if you don't get money safe, you will enjoy. This is a town where support is a massive tool. Okay? Because you saw it yourself. There are even people that I did I, I wasn't even expecting to see them here. Okay. But they came and then they showed me more love. If it was 90 people that came here, 89 people had seen it. How many people were you expecting? Today, today, dear, to be frank. For I was, the first program? For the first program, I was expecting about 50 people. But like my manager told me, we had about 214 people around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What of the last, the jams? The jams, dear. Me, my people, they like jam too. They go feed their year dance out to daybreak. And even if you tell, even if you off the, the system, they will put on their phones. When the phones go off, they will switch on their cars. All right, I'll be your last word to you. My last word is that if I say my last word, it means I'm going to die. I don't have a last word. But all I want to tell the people is that I'm very grateful, especially to the people that I featured on the album, the engineers, the studios that I worked, people who advised me, my, like the taboo men, so many people who really inspired me. Like, it hasn't been easy. I started recording these tracks from January. Okay. February, I was done. 38 songs, done. I had to select 18. You know, it wasn't easy. Sometimes I have to fast because most of the tracks that were, like, were good to my ears, it wasn't good to other people's ears. And then the ones that were good to their ears, I didn't like it. So all I want to say is, we aren't, we aren't there yet. We are still working. They should keep praying and keep supporting us. We will not disappoint them. In fact, some questions, I don't have to let him go before I ask him. I want to ask you something. Um, what involved in selecting your music for the okay. album? Selecting my music. I always had friends with me, like, when I go to the studio and record a song, like when I come, there are people that sit in my car or come to me and they listen. So I just, if, I, if I'm in my car and I'm playing my song, before God the man, I don't sing song. I just listen to the, I watch the other people sitting. The kind of enthusiasm that the person will get from the feelings. Then I will sit down and see this song, Parker, you see like it. Movements like it. So, so and so like this. So I need to put it in. When it came down to selection, I took the tracks to my management, Uptown Energy. They sat down, they asked me, which ones do you want to put them on? Select 10. I did my own selection, 10. They did the rest. And even I had so many songs with other people like Hakan, uh, Walasi, uh, Pono, so many tracks that we have that they kicked it out from the album. It wasn't really a bad idea though, because I felt after the album, I need to release more. Okay, it doesn't end here. It's, it's a journey that doesn't end. Okay, talking about Uptown Energy, we all know in Ghana here, if you hear Uptown Energy, Yapono comes in mind. We didn't see him here for the first um, program. What happened? Yeah, Pono, uh, he went to Otum for us uh, 20th anniversary yesterday. Then they actually had to catch a flight from Kumasi to Accra. So as I'm speaking to you, they've really arrived at Accra safely, and then they will be here in the evening to support as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tabu. You're welcome. We expect the best. And then first and foremost, and then lastly, I would like to thank you personally, and then your whole crew, because you've actually done a lot that I wouldn't like to talk here, because if I go talk now, they will talk to you, my girl. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I say big thank you to our Time TV. I appreciate the love. And then the future program that we do, even if we have to travel to Asia, I think you guys will be with me. We're always there. All right, I'm grateful. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. That was a short interview. Should I even say short? With Tabu, the superstar. Let us spend the best. For more videos, go to our Time TV GH on YouTube, click on the subscribe button, and click on the bell for notifications.